Welcome back to another episode of Tips and Tricks with your favorite instructor, Instructor Shelton. Today, I welcome the lovely Miss Hannah Batten. How are you doing, Hannah? I am doing so great. Thank you so much for having me. It's an absolute pleasure to be chatting with you today. I'm so excited. Yay. Okay. So Hannah, you were a referral from Jeff Georgie. He's a good guy. And I looked on your profile. Tell everybody what it is that you do. Yeah. So I am currently working as a tutor for the platform Varsity Tutors. And I recently started working for Tutor Ocean as well, which both provide individualized tutoring experiences. I just graduated from St. John Fisher College in Rochester in May. I have tutored English and writing of all kinds for four years, so tutoring is the name of my game. Nice, and I love that you do writing because it's 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 so hard. A lot of people are like, I don't like you know the revision process is the one that usually takes everybody down. (laughs) Having having to write over. Mm -hmm. So uh, knowing that you have that experience, what tips and tricks do you have to share with us? Um, What I wanted to share uh, for instructors and fellow tutors in particular is to focus on capitalizing on the individual time and space that tutoring allows and to really view each student as a unique learner. And this has certainly been the driving perspective of tutoring in general um, since it, you know, was put into place in education. But tutoring isn't just an opportunity to get students to finish an assignment or reach a certain goal. It is a time and space for checking in and understanding a student's needs, not only as a learner, but as a person. And I think that coming from the perspective of trying to learn while everything around you is on fire, um, it really illuminates the fact that education is not a tunnel vision type experience. It includes all perspectives of a person's life as they enter into a classroom And if you think about how easy it is for students to end up in different places in terms of their curriculum or get lost in the classroom, when you take that classroom away altogether, it becomes even more easy for students to be at different levels, even if they are all within the same class. And while this is amplified by online learning, it's also more important than ever to really acclimate to individual students' needs. And I think that there's this very big stigma around tutoring that it's meant to just propel students towards a certain level of learning. But I really think that that's just a part of it because tutoring is a really great opportunity for you to understand where your students are and accept that that's where they are and help them grow into a space that makes sense for them because everybody can grow and everybody can learn, but everybody walks into a classroom or gets on a Zoom call with different things happening all the time. And without a common space, all of those elements feel even more integrated into every student's education experience. What do do you say to people who say, I don't wanna go to tutoring or I'm not interested because tutoring's boring. Like that's the biggest thing that I will hear from from my students is they're like, oh, you know, I don't really like tutoring. It's kind of boring. It's kind of, what, how can we dispel that, that, that misnomer? How can we get rid of that myth that tutoring is this kind of labor intensive, boring thing that they have to do? I think that that comes from the approach the tutors use and the way they not necessarily advertise, but put their tutoring system out there. I think tutoring should be a place of support. It should be someone who is in your corner and it should be an experience for somebody else to understand what you're going through and how that affects your educational experience as well. I think things like positive reinforcement and encouragement and letting your student know that they are not alone is very important because I think it's when a lot of students enter a tutoring um, situation, maybe for the first time, it's like, okay, I'm in a mini classroom. This is the Mm -hmm. same, but now all the pressure's on me. When in reality, it should be, this is my time to have support and have attention and to work through my academia in a way that's personalized for me. So it should be something that. that that is like a helpful, supportive element of your education. 
I love that because I'm, my students, they need to take ownership of ah. their learning and they need to feel mm -hmm. like they're part of the process, but some of them are intimidated. Some of them feel um, a little, I don't even know what word, but they're like, I don't know. It's just me and the teacher in there, you know, like they yeah. kind of feel there's not a sense, I guess, uh, of closeness or a connection. Yeah. So yeah. it feels awkward to them at first. Sure. But I, what you're saying now is like connect with them on an individual level, get to know like who they are, where their strengths are, where their weaknesses are. So basically kind of like ice break the whole time while you help them excel. Right. Absolutely. Huh. I love that. Thank you so much, Thank Hannah. You. I yeah. really appreciate you being on Tips and Tricks. I do want to have you back because I, I can see that you have like more nuggets to drop. So I definitely want to have you back for another episode. Um, any final mm. words for those who are thinking about tutoring but aren't sure? Yeah, I would just say that go into it with an open mind and consider that this is a really difficult time for anyone in education, whether yeah. you're an instructor, you're a tutor, or you're a student, and view it as something that's going to support you and be there mm. for you. It's not just another task. It's something to take the pressure off and guide you in a different way. So that's what I would have to say. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This has been another episode of Tips and Tricks with Hannah Batten and Danielle Shelton. See you guys later.